Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat lets you manage the flow of text in PDF documents that contain areas of separated text. For example, this can help within a PDF like a newsletter, which often spans several pages. In these types of PDFs, longer text articles are sometimes broken up over several pages. If the newsletter is printed, you can instruct readers to continue reading the article by using text like Continued on Next Page at the end of an article section. If the PDF is viewed on an electronic device, however, you can eliminate the need for the reader to find the next page in the article by creating article threads in Acrobat. An article thread is created by drawing a series of boxes around the article's text content in the order you want it read. Doing this then defines a navigational path for the article. To do this, first open a multi-page PDF file in Acrobat. Next, select the Edit PDF tool from the Tools Center or the Tools Panel. The Edit PDF screen appears. Click the More button in the Edit PDF toolbar and then select the Add Article Box command. The mouse cursor appears as a crosshair pointer when held over the PDF pages. To define the first article box in the article, click and drag to select the first part of the article's text. When you release your mouse button, an article box appears around the text. At the top of the article box is an article box heading label containing two numbers. The first number is the article number, and the second number is the article box's number within the article. For example, your first article boxes are 11, 12, 13, and so forth. Your second article in the same PDF has article boxes labeled 21, 22, and so forth. Continue clicking and dragging over the article's text on the pages in the order you want users to read the article until you have defined all of the article's text. When finished, press the Enter key on your keyboard to open the Article Properties dialog box where you can then enter the article's information. In this dialog box, enter the article's data into the fields for the article's title, subject, and author. You can also add keywords for the article. When finished, click the OK button. You can then click and drag to create a second article if needed. You can press the Escape key on your keyboard to exit the article box selection mode if finished. It's worth mentioning that you cannot move or resize an article box until the article thread is fully defined. In other words, you must define all of the article boxes in an article thread and then press the Enter key on your keyboard before editing any of the article's individual article boxes. You must also click the Add Article Box button from the More Buttons drop-down menu in the Edit PDF toolbar to edit article boxes. To see the articles in a PDF, you can open the Articles pane. To display the Articles pane, select View, Show Hide, Navigation Panes, Articles from the menu bar. The Articles pane appears at the left side of the screen. To read an article, double-click on the article name in the article pane. Acrobat displays the first line of the article in the upper left corner of the screen. You can also use the Articles pane to delete entire articles. To do this, click to select the name of the article to delete within the Articles pane. Then click the Delete button in the toolbar at the top of the Articles pane. Then click the OK button in the confirmation message box that appears. Doing this deletes all the article boxes in the article. Separately, you can also delete article boxes from existing articles. If needed, click the Add Article Box button from the More Buttons drop-down menu in the Edit PDF toolbar first so the article boxes appear on screen. Then right-click the article box's heading label where the article box number appears and select Delete from the pop-up menu. Alternatively, click the Article Boxes heading label to select it, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Acrobat shows a dialog box that asks if you want to delete the entire article or just the selected box. Click Box to delete the selected article box. To add another article box after an existing article box to add a new article box to an article, Click the Article Box heading label of the article box after which to add the new article box to select it. Then click the small plus sign in the box's lower right corner. Then click and drag to draw the new article box. When finished, press the Enter key on your keyboard. 
article boxes that previously followed the selected article box are renumbered to follow any new article boxes you draw. To combine two articles into one, select the article box label of the last article box in the article to which to append the second article. Click the small plus sign in its lower right corner. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click to select the first article box of the second article to append to this article. It is automatically renumbered and appended to the end of the first article. To edit the properties of an article, Right-click an article box and then choose the Properties command in the pop-up menu that appears to open the Article Properties dialog box. Change any information shown and then click the OK button to apply it. After creating your articles, exit the Edit PDF view by clicking the Close Edit PDF button at the right end of the Edit PDF toolbar. You can also close the Articles panel in the Navigation pane if needed. To read an article in the PDF file as a user would, click the Hand tool in the Page Controls toolbar. Then hover over the article thread to read in the PDF. Your mouse pointer appears as the Follow Article icon when over the content in the article. This icon looks like a small hand with a downward pointing arrow on it. To scroll through the article one pane at a time, press the Enter key on your keyboard or click in the article. To scroll backwards one pane at a time, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and then either press the Enter key on your keyboard or click in the article. Then release the Shift key. To jump to the beginning of the article, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and then click the article. Then release the Control key. If you read an article from start to finish, you will see the End Article icon when it is placed over the final text within the article. This icon looks like the same follow article icon with the arrow pointing to a horizontal line within the hand. You can click at this point to jump to the start of the article. Note that you can also end an article before the final panel while you are reading it. To do this, hold down the Control plus Shift keys on your keyboard and then click the article to return to the beginning of the article. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.